Oh boy, how freaking convenient is it that there's a giant spotlight. Wow, it's dark in here. I don't like the dark. Not a lot. But there is light, so I guess it's good. Isn't this the perfect room to privately make out, eh, Kion? Ew, no! Oh, come on, Kobe, let's just... Ugh. Oh, there you guys are. Well, we ran away from you because, you know, we wanted to do something productive. I want to do something productive right now, and that's it! Oh, gee, you're right, it is almost fooding time. I'm starving. I didn't even get to eat bird brains over there. That's Mr. Bird Brains to you, fussy! Okay, good, we found them. Alright, we're good? Alright, we're good. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, there's no salt in here. Ugh. Wait, I can't go anywhere without Zuri. Alright, I'll stay in here with you. I'll be a big girl. Now, all who wish to leave this cave, please follow me. Oh, I'm getting out of here before I get hurt. Yeah, I'm hungry. Uh, I guess I'll stay in here, because plot convenience. Hey guys, where's Malka? Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. I thought I was lost. I guess I'll head out with Zazu so I don't get lost anymore. So why are we not heading out? I don't know. I guess we're about to do some really edgy plot story thing. I don't know. You know what? If you're too scared to get us out here, I'll commit Roar of the Elders because plot convenience. I'll propel us out of here. Roar! No, Coyote, what do you- Insert cave caving in. Just add a rock falling effect here. I don't- I don't- You know what? My, my hand works. Well, gee, thanks a lot. Now, we really have an excuse to stay in here. Ugh! There's cobwebs all over the place. I don't like this one bit. We should have left while we had the chance, Zuri. Hey, boys, look. An exit. I wonder, if we head that way, will we head out? Dingus, if it's an exit, then obviously we're gonna head out. That's the whole purpose of an exit. Not to just go in circles, but to leave your destination. You got chill. Right, I'm gonna roar these rocks out of the way. Roar! Okay, I'm out. No, Kion, wait! Boom! I officially hate Kion now. Yeah, what a jerk. Ugh. I don't think anybody here liked Kion. Yeah, not even me. Ugh. I I do. And I kinda do. Well, I guess since we're trapped in this cave now, um... What do you want to play? Play? Tifu, what the crap? We're stuck in a cave with no hope of getting out, and we just got ditched by our friend, so-called friend, even though he's still pretty hot, and... We're gonna pour out, we're probably gonna freeze up and die in here, it's cold! Well, uh, hate to be the guy who suggests this idea, but, uh, maybe if we snuggle up together and maybe it'll keep us warm? I'm sorry, what was that? Maybe if we snuggle up together? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Maybe if we snuggle up together, we can keep warmth. Okay. Aw, oh, thanks, Kovu. Ew, get off me. Yeah, okay, I'll just move next to Kovu. I'll just go right here. Fellow emo. Mama! Ooh. Are you really our mother? I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. I've been there a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Got Nadjo. Dear Lord, I hate country music. Alright guys, I got an idea of what I can play. Wait, did somebody just fart? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I guess what we could do if, you know, all odds are against, I have a game idea. Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Ideas. Anyways, this is a game I made up with Kovu called Crybaby Confessor. Crybaby Confessor sounds like my kind of game. Does it involve being overly dramatic? Well, actually, the whole goal of the game is to not be overly dramatic. Ooh, Zuri, you're gonna have a hard time with this one. Shut up, Tifu. Basically, it's never have I ever, but, um, you know, first person who starts getting emotional tears up or 
just breaks down crying, loses. And we keep going around until there's one person remaining. I am the undefeated champion. Yeah, because Vitani doesn't, she, she, she doesn't cry in public. I don't cry, period. That's the bull. Shut up, Kovu. Oh, why don't you love me anymore? I do love you. All right, since I am the undefeated champion, I'll go first. Self-entitled much? Tommy, you go. Oh, this will be easy for me. I don't have any tears to cry anymore. All right. Hmm. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Well, uh... My, my whole life is embarrassing. But the most embarrassing thing that's happened that was out of the ordinary was... I ate a Big Mac. And it costed more than usual. And I cried. And that was the day that I lost all my tears. And that was the day that I became inhuman. And how is that embarrassing exactly? It might be embarrassing to some because they lost their humanity. But we're not humans. Okay, lionity. Bruh. Alright, do I get to go next? Yeah, we go around and around. Okay, so, uh. Uh, Tifu. Yeah. Alright, um. Name a loved one that. You said something too, but never got to take it back. Zuri, every day. Well, that's very unfortunate, because you can't take words back. Oh, you can't? So what have I been taking back to Kmart all this time? You've been taking back air. I mean, I thought it was called Kmart because they sell words and letters there. Tifu, just, just stop. Okay, Zuri, your turn. Name someone that that you appreciate so much, but they don't appreciate you back. Kion, all the way. KR, what would you do if something wasn't Wumbo? Well, I guess I'd be Wumboant. That's actually a pretty sad thought. I've never thought of that before. Oh, dear Lord. Kovu's my Wumbo. If I lost my Wumbo, I'd be up. One out. Alright, I guess I'm leaving the cave. Goodbye. Uh... She's my ride, so uh, I guess I'm going with her. No, Kovu! Okay, fine. Well, Kovu's staying, I'm staying. Scoot, 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 scoot. Ew, get away from me! Okay, Copa, do you miss anyone? I miss a lot of people, actually. Asante, especially. She won't pay child support! <laughs> she took the kids! Asante! Alright, let's do. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Why do you sound like a guy? Why do you sound queer? <laughs> Dang, Zuri, you're doing better than I thought you would. You have little faith in me? How could you? Uh, I'm sorry. Bruh. Alright, Renee, name the lost one. Ooh, low blow. What? what? What did I do? That's a pretty low blow. My grandma, Jana. She was the sweetest person I knew. The, on the only one of my parents left. And... No, she's she's gone, and I don't, I don't have any authority. I'm an orphan. But hey, I guess that's that's what caused me to be a, an independent woman. I guess. Okay, maybe not so much of a low blow as I thought. All right, Kovu. Yeet yeet. What's the meanest thing anybody said to you? Can I go ahead and say you said it first? Sure. Vitani. What? Kovu, what? what? What did I say to you? Well, one day we got into a fight. And, uh, it, it was pretty bad. And, oh, no, you're gonna bring that one up. Shut up. And we got into a fight. And it was pretty bad. And she said one of the meanest things to me. 
um, I don't, I don't remember what I said. She said to me, what did I say to you? That's, that's what you said to me. Nothing. What are you trying to say? Pitsani is the only person in this entire, on this entire earth who has never said anything mean to me before. That's so sweet, Kofu. However, nice try, but you're not getting me to well up. Alright, Vitani, what's the saddest movie you watched? Um. Uh. Saddest movie I watched, Lion King 2019. That wasn't even sad! I mean, sad is an attempt. Like, it was so poor. It's just. It was so poor, it was actually kind of sad. Alright, Tom, who do you love? Who do you love the most? That's dead. Well, I really don't think that I loved anybody, really. Heck, come to think of it, I don't know if anybody loved me. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. Life's life, you know. You just gotta move on from the past. It's so untrue! Yeah. No, I mean, seriously, I don't even know if there's anybody that cares about me any really. I mean, it's just, yeah. Oh, you're making me sad. Tifu, pull yourself together, pull yourself together. No, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, baby, a triple. You, seeing you sad makes me sad. <laughs> and then there were four. Dang, where'd you learn to do your voice like that? Nuka. Oh dang, I didn't know he took up a voice acting career. I'm going to say the I word. What's the I word? It's time, Winnie. Oh, that's weird. You sound just like Jana. It is time, Winnie. You must take your place as queen. Oh, now you're giving me bad flashbacks. You have all your friends to guide you. I to think that actually kind of sounds like Roz. You didn't turn in your paperwork. I'm always watching, Winnie. Always watching. Feels like you're making fun of me. <laughs> well, the way she cries is so stupid. It's just wow. And then there were three. Are you sure you're not secretly a boy? Positive. All right. Uh... Something she forgot to address, um, in the final rounds, we just spitfire questions towards each other. Alright. Do you know your parents? No, I don't. I never got to meet my parents. They were murdered. Brutally murdered! Brutally, like, brutally murdered, and... No, um, I have to live with Nuka and... Zero, and it's just, it's, it's, it's terrible. What about me? You're probably the worst of the bunch, honestly. <gasps> what? Yeah, you're, you're the worst of the bunch, obviously. I, I'm not. Yes, you are. What did I do to you? Well, you're, you, for one, you, you're obviously the one who never really cared for me. That's Nuka, obviously. What? Nuka doesn't love you. Of course he does. What are you saying? Oh, smart move there, Slick. Thanks. You never truly loved me for who I was. Matter of fact, you hate me. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. Please, stop saying that. You're making me feel guilty. Well, feel guilty. I don't care. Just do your own thing, sis. Oh, did I mention that... Considering that you have the roar of the elders now, that makes that, that technically makes you a Mary Sue. I am not a Mary Sue. I'm a perfect character. Yeah, that that qualifies you as a Mary Sue. I am not a Mary Sue. Whatever you say. Hey, uh, listen. I hate to drop out, but uh, Kiara really wants to go, and uh, I kind of value her more than I value you. So, uh, yeah. See ya. All the time we spent together.
He never truly admired it. That's just terrible. It looks like we have a new queen. Nah, you're not just yet. Come, you're so mean. I, I'm sorry. I, I love you though. Now get out of my face. Oh. All right. Since I really hated that game, <laughs> I guess we're uh doing mano a mano. You know it. All right, who's the most edgiest? Me, obviously. Prove it. Crawling in my skin. Okay, that's pretty edgy, and that hurt my ears. Okay, I'm out. You just got pwned, FTW. Now you're dead, you're dead, cause we killed you, we took you by surprise. Well, that was the lamest game I've ever played. Come here, you're so mean. Yeah, let's just, let's not do that again. Like, ever. Well, finally out of that purgatory. Oh, hello there! Madoa, what are you doing back here? Well, I felt really bad for not letting you ride with me, so I just figured I'd make it up to you. I'll go on and take you home. Well, I mean, we really have no home. I mean, we're we're in America right now, so um, man, we're 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 kind of lost. Wait, so how did Serengeti Enterprises chase you all the way from Africa to the U.S.? I wouldn't question it, cartoon logic and all, you know. Yeah, it gets really confusing when you think about it. I'll try my hardest. Have you noticed the solar eclipse tonight? Solar eclipse? Well, not really a solar eclipse, but more of a, a lunar eclipse. Wait, that, that's what that is? It's a lunar eclipse? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, I best take you home anyways. So, uh... Alright, let, let's ride. 